Okay, so I'm cutting a date ring for a long case clock here. Uh, I've just finished cutting the number 10 and I'm just about to move on uh, to the 11. Um, the machine is one of the really cheap uh, Chinese CNC 3020. Um, I've added um, some micro switches uh, to give it a home location and there's one underneath as well. Um, they're wired into um, the Arduino that's running the uh, Gerbil control system. Um, there's the number 10 that's just finished. I have this set up so I have it homing and then it returns to a coordinate position that I have uh, written down here um, each time I've finished a, a cut. So I'll just go through the process. I'll so now I've got the date ring uh, held in place by uh, two clamps that are actually holding the date ring itself and also I've put two of these uh, nails in to locate the date ring as it slides around to the next piece and so this piece of wood with the nails in is, is also held separately in place. So I'll just loosen those off and I will now slide the date ring around to its next location. The squares I've previously marked inside the clock uh, with the mechanism that moves it, so the teeth which are hand, hand cut, uh, align the, the boxes with the window where you will see the date. So I've got a mark here as well to align each box. Um, so I'll tighten that back up now. I've got some little pieces of aluminium underneath just to uh, stop my stop me marking the brass with, with the, uh, the steel clamps. So okay. Now the engraving tool I will now reset. So that's back to its original home position, and it's now three millimeters up. So I need to drop it down. I've got it set to one millimeter as a preset. So I'll move the z-axis down. Before I do my last millimetre, I'm going to actually engage the spindle. So I'll we'll turn the spindle on. I've got it set almost to maximum. Yeah. So the spindle's now... ...to start cutting. I'm going to take it down the last millimetre. And I need to load... I should have done this before. Need to load number 11. So I've got all these files that I made earlier. We have number 11. These are uh, point 0.8 um, Baskerville, uh, made in uh, Kanban uh, text and pocket filled. So that looks good to go. I will now send that.
so I'm using a 0.2mm uh, tool here. Um, the bam bam uh, effect of the 0.2mm tool also. Um, okay, so we've finished. So the tool's been lifted and the turn the spindle off. And I'll okay that. And I'll now move the date ring onto the number 11. Thank you for watching.